I used to think that I had to release as a man. I thought it was just part of being a man. You had to sexually release. So I remember when I had my bachelor pad, right? And I had went through a phase where I was talking, you know, talking to women. But then I went through another phase where I began to just want to do me. I kind of fell back from having women come over. I wanted to focus on myself a little more. I was working full time, so I'd be tired when I got home. So long story short, I stopped dealing with women for a while, right? Then I began to look into porn. Because I thought as a man, you had to release some type of way. Like if you're not dealing with women, you need to be masturbating. If you're not masturbating, you need to be dealing with women. I spoke about this in one of my other videos. I, I you know, before I knew about semen retention, before I knew about NoFap, I used to always think you had to do one or the other. I didn't know you can. That's why I always say implement semen retention and NoFap together. And I believe you should practice them together for the best results. That's just me personally. That's my belief. But anyway, as a man, you don't have to release, bro. And it's actually beneficial to you not to release. Whether it's from intercourse or it's from masturbation. You can retain that energy. You can hold on to that sexual energy, excuse me, sexual energy. And you can proceed to use it in other aspects of your life. Sexual transmutation. The point of this video is I'm pretty sure it's other men out there, even younger guys who feel like as a man, you have to release how I once thought. I thought I had to release. Right. So I'm here to make this no fat video to inform you. If you are not masturbating, don't use that as an opportunity. Or if you are not watching porn, right, let's say you on no fat, right? Don't use it as an opportunity to then go out there and try to sleep with as many women as you can. Because, yes, you may be getting over your porn addiction, but you are building another addiction. You're going from one bad habit to another bad habit. And honestly, it's more risk. To the second bad habit, you know, the, the habit of. Going out there trying to sleep with more women, you have the risk of unwanted pregnancy. You have the risk of STDs. And then you are giving your energy to sexual demons, to succubus. So if you are just now doing no fap or you've been doing no fap for a while, don't look at it as it has to be one or the other. Don't look at it as if you're not masturbating, if you're not watching porn, you must be sleeping with women. If you're not sleeping with women, you must be watching porn. You must be masturbating. To, to truly get at your higher nature is to really retain from everything. It don't have to be for life. It don't have to be forever. But just for a period of time. Three months, six months, nine months, 30 days, 60 days, 90 days. We have to learn to start valuing our sexual energy, excuse me, our sexual energy, as well as our penises, as well as our seed. As well as our self. Men are quickly becoming what women used to be. You know, I remember when women used to be told to value their vagina or to, you know, their, their body was their temple. And it's funny because now more women are promiscuous and more women are out here engaging in sex. And men are learning about nofap. Men are learning about semen retention. It's crazy how the world works. So, you know, I think it's a good time to be a man and, you know, we are in a great position because we have the opportunity to become better and do better and, and you know, hold ourselves to a higher standard now. You know, allow the women, you know, stop bashing women, allow the women to do that. If that's what, you know, me personally, I'm proud. 
I'm proud that I get to switch places in the sense that not like masculine and feminine at all. You know, I don't I don't I don't play that. But what I mean by switch places is I'm happy that I learned about semen retention. I'm happy that I learned about NoFap. And it's actually funny now because when I go around women, in a sense, I feel like I'm in their position in the sense like women were supposed to be that. You know, women were supposed to be the ones who, you know, stay virgins or hold their vagina, you know, you know, to a higher standard. And men, we were known to, you know, sleep with, you know, sleep around. You know, we were known to give our penis to any and everybody. So, you know, now when I go places and I, I'm around women, no judgment here, but when I'm around women and they're sleeping with everything that moves and I'm the one that's reserved, you know, I'm the one that's cautious and more picky with who I give my sexual energy to and who I give my pen penis to, it's a good feeling to me. Because I know I have the power, I have the value. This woman is out here sleeping with 10 dudes, has a husband, a boyfriend, a side dude. And me, I'm out here retaining my seed. What is that doing to me spiritually? What is that doing to her spiritually? So, you know, that's what I mean by, you know, it, it, it's like we're switching places in the sense that men are starting to hold their body as their temple. Men are starting to hold themselves to a higher standard. And I love it. You know, let these women let these women run the streets and let them do what they want to do. Because that's a dead end road, you know. I would rather. And it's going to be fucked up for me to say it, but currently in life, I would rather women be running the street reckless and men be learning how valuable their sexual energy is, how value their semen is, how value. Valuable, excuse me, their penis is. Then men, which you got men still doing it, but I'm just saying as a whole, then men being the ones out here reckless and women valuing their self. So, I mean, I wish we all value ourselves more men and women, you know, but if I had to choose, you know, with me being a man, I'm sorry, I'm going to say, you know, I would prefer this route. I would prefer us men learning to value ourselves more because the women had their time. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button, King. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new. Welcome to the Alpha Nation. Drop down in the comment section what you need advice on, what you'd like for me to touch on in the next video. Till next time, Alpha Sensei. Salute.